Hi everyone, I'm Wanda Martin, Canon Ambassador. In this video today, I'll talk a little bit about what to do with our newly found free time while we are staying in. I know these times can be quite challenging for all of us, so for us creatives and photographers as well, but I'm trying to look at it positively and I'm trying to approach this as like finally we have all the time to experiment with things that we never actually had the time before. You know, we can just dig through our archives, finding projects we completely forgot about and you know finishing editing and retouching films or photographs we had shot before. We can be updating our websites and social media and, and portfolio. Social media is actually pretty important because now everyone is looking at it. What I'm trying to encourage everyone to do is just let's keep on creating new pictures as well. So this video is going to be all about how to stay creative at home and how to be inventive and you know let's just keep on creating beautiful images while we are staying in. So if you're interested in still life you can just you know create beautiful set design out of the pieces you find in your home and now you can just be waiting for that perfect light that you wanted to capture forever and of course you can you can learn new things about lighting so by the time you're gonna be out there shooting again you're gonna have new skills in your skill set or if you are doing portraiture or like myself i'm a portrait and fashion photographer it can be quite tricky especially um if you're if you live alone if you don't live alone then just take portraits of your flatmates your partner your children but if you don't have anyone around then again you can think a little bit about taking self-portraits because this is the time for self-reflection anyhow i'm originally from the countryside of hungary and um when i was 16 17 i did not know anything about the technicalities of photography i just i just wanted to learn and i was not confident enough to ask people uh, to be my models so I started taking pictures of myself I started like recreating um, famous paintings and obviously right now I'm not necessarily like proud of those pictures anymore but still it's a it's a great way of learning a lot about the medium of photography learning a lot about lighting learning a lot about composition posing even and you know even post-production a different kind of approach to self-portraiture can be very interesting you can have only your shadow on your picture or just like a more abstract version of yourself your reflection in a mirror or just like a very tight crop of your of your hand or something that's that also tells a lot about yourself like how you want to be represented on a picture when I started working professionally, I didn't really have time for those kind of personal projects anymore, so I stopped. And now it feels so refreshing to like revisit my roots and I started taking self-portraits again. I'm using a fish eye lens, which I never used before. So while I'm taking self-portraits, I'm learning new things and I'm trying out new things, playing around. Because, you know, this is the main thing. You don't actually have to take this. like that seriously because you know there's no client standing next to you looking at the pictures you are taking it's uh it's more about playing around it you can just take thousands and thousands of pictures until you are satisfied and until you feel like you yeah this is actually something i would like to show to people or you don't actually have to show it to anyone it's still a great learning process let's talk a little bit about the location itself because uh you know we are staying home and you might look around and you're like, okay, so what am, I, what am I supposed to be shooting in this house? I know every corner of it. It's boring. But I'm trying to suggest here, let's just try to look at these normal, everyday locations as, um, as a potential photo shoot location. This is our photo shoot location now. And let's try to make every little corner more abstract you can just you know shoot it from a unusual angle or with a with a new lens or with different lighting or honestly with a tight crop you can use every corner of it a staircase the bedrooms the sofa the bathtub even every every place is exciting in a way you just have to try to look at it differently also the main thing is you don't actually have to spend money on a shoot like this. You can just be inventive and you can create amazingly exciting things from the things you find at home. All of us have to face challenges sometimes even when it comes to a professional photo shoot. Um, 
you know, when it comes to an editorial issues, for example, we know like how budgets can be very limited. So I had I had photo shoots, like professional shoot, photo shoots in this house before. You don't have to have expensive lighting equipment or just expensive equipment either. You can use a flash gun if you have, but you can just use all the beautiful natural light coming in. Or, I mean, I found this torch. You can just use a bubble wrap in front of it to make it softer and you have already a nice spotlight. Or you can use some candles or some matches. You know, just be inventive and be creative and use everything you just find at your home. It's just crazy exciting. So I have this backdrop stand, for example, and I have some printed backdrops, but before I had the backdrops or before I had the backdrop stand, you know, you can just be using a washing line and you can just hang up some pieces of fabric as a backdrop or even some bed sheets or your curtain. And you can already have this greatly functioning DIY studio in your in your garden or in your living room. And if you don't have a tripod, that's that's totally fine too. You can just make one out of some piles of books. Just keep on creating, keep on taking new pictures, just try to be inventive, try to be experimental, just try to use anything you find in your house basically. And you know, just play around and have fun, that's the main thing. Because there's no point doing photography or taking pictures if you're not fully enjoying yourself while you're doing it. Honestly, I'm very excited to see some pictures you take while you are staying in. So if you want to share some with me, just use the hashtag CanonConnected. Thank you for watching. Take care.